right, here we are, Friday, July 22nd. It's already about 85 degrees here. You can hear the cicada up top. Fishing a little pool I had pretty good luck at a couple of days ago. There's a few nice fish in here. And I'm fishing a silver kind of a shad imitation. Well, I call them skipjack minnows that the smallies chase around in here. If I can see the pool, my glasses are steaming over. Gonna make cast crossed and down a little bit here. And a quick erratic strip. Little time for it to sink once in a while, like it's injured. There we go. All right. So it's not a huge one. We'll try to get him quietly out of the pool before he uh, alerts Grandpa down there that I'm coming. But again, pretty nice little small mouth right there. Hooked right in the upper jaw like he should be. About a eight incher. There was a professional release, and we're back at it. Bigger fish are kind of hanging at the end of this pool down here. Again, a cross stream, erratic stripping, giving it time to sink like it's a dead dying minnow. nice fish in here a couple days ago, both about 16, and both towards the end of the pool. I am kind of keeping my eyes open, too, to moving fish. Casting to those or out ahead of them. My glasses are really steaming over. Okay, we're through the first little part of the pool. Get to be shallow a little bit. Today, I'm fishing a TQR rod. It's a five foot six four weight rod. And I actually have a three weight line on it, which is going the wrong way. But the, uh, my three weight was the smallest reel, and I didn't want the feel of the big five weight reel on here. And uh, I'm picking up a smaller fluger reel this upcoming Saturday to load with either four or five weight line. But this five foot six TQR rod is awesome. I really like it, especially for down in these little creeks where I have to get down in here and do battle. Okay, we're kind of into another deeper, lower spot. And if you haven't done a lot of this, these fish are here. They're laying down in against the sandstone, the limestone, the crags, and they'll come out and ambush what they think is food. I 
And that's why I'm using this silver little shiner right now because that's what the big bass are doing. They're chasing these minnows and they are ferocious. Ferocious hunters. There goes a good fish I just spooked out of here. Sometimes if you're not real loud, they'll come back. I've been able to have them return to the pool and catch them later. Okay, so right down through here is a nice long run. There's another one. They're in here. Bigger fish just may not be feeding yet. We're going to make a cross court right into there. Nope, no takers in that little spot. <coughs> but anyway, you're getting the idea, and it's a very productive pattern. It's just tough fishing right now because the water is so clear. There's very little flow. And so they see you coming. We can wrap one right around there, yeah. There are a couple of big carp in this pool. When I say big, I mean a, a big carp for a creek this size, a massive carp. Try a couple more right in here. part of the pool left right here. See if we can get a I see a carp down there now. It is definitely a hot July day. The bugs are buzzing, the cicadas are chattering, and, and the fish are snubbing me. Swimming right by that big carp, and that's not the big one. There we go. And out from below the rock. Come yet another, oh, probably nine, ten inch smally. Not what we're looking for, but a pretty fish nonetheless. And there you have it. Beautiful. The beautiful fish.